Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Audrey Davuti. And I'm Cameron Ludwig. And welcome to BHS TV. Here are your morning announcements for today, Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019. Today begins block schedule for the SBAC testing. Today we will have periods 2, 4, and 6. SBAC testing will take place beginning today, April 2nd through April 5th, and next week, April 9th through April 12th, with makeup testing on April 15th and April 16th. All 11th graders will be testing in the library during their English and U.S. History classes. Seniors will be taking their life science exam during their government or econ class on April 9th and April 10th. Good luck to all students testing these next two weeks. Attention all students. The school library will be closed for the next two weeks for SBAC testing. It will be open next Monday, April 8th only. Please be aware students will not have access to books or computers for printing out assignments when the library is closed. The Career Center is available for printing, but computers are limited, so please plan accordingly. April is National Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and April 1st through the 6th is California Teen Safe Driving Week. Yesterday, during a press conference here in the BHS Library, the California Highway Patrol, Senator Portentino from the 25th Senate District, Burbank School District officials, Burbank PD, and Impact Teen Drivers partnered to deliver life-saving messages. This campaign was developed to highlight the dangers of distracted driving through public awareness, education, and enforcement. Throughout the month of April, the focus will be on reducing distracted driving injuries and deaths on California roadways. Here at Burbank High School, with the school year quickly coming to an end and prom festivities drawing near, there will be a week dedicated to the dangers of distracted driving and the severity of student actions behind the wheel. Arrival Live will take place the week of April 15th through April 19th. This week will be dedicated to educating teens on the repercussions that come from making poor decisions when getting behind the wheel. During lunch that week, there will be quad activities geared towards these dangers. This all leads up to a guest speaker, Kevin Brooks, which takes place on Friday, April 19th. Stay tuned as the Arrival Live week is just around the corner. Attention all students, faculty, and staff. Please come out to the Spring Dance Concert, our soundtrack, this week, Friday and Saturday, April 5th and 6th, at 7 p.m. in the Wolfson Auditorium. This is their last show of the year, and it features all levels in their dance program, Dance 1 and 2, Advanced Dance, and the Unleashed Dance Team. Also, the Bulldog Buddies and the Burbank Voices Collaborations. They, they will be selling student tickets in the quad this Thursday at lunch, $10 pre-sale. See you all there. Come see the drama production of Arthur Miller's Pulitzer Prize winning play, The Crucible. This show will be in the Colony Theater on 3rd Street, just a block from campus. It plays next week on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, along with the Saturday matinee. Tickets are on sale at brownpapertickets.com and will be sold next week at lunch in the quad. Darkness is brewing. The devil is lurking. But we burn a hot fire here. It melts away all concealment. And we will find you, and we will purge you. Vengeance is walking in Salem, and I will not give my wife to vengeance. Nickelodeon is painting a mural at Burbank High School starting April 8th. The image, designed by senior Anna Varela, celebrates the creative energy of all of our arts and innovative work at BHS. The wall of Building 2 facing the quad and spilling into the interior entrance will be transformed into bursts of vibrant colors and lines that will invigorate our building and invite guests into, the art, into our art events and classrooms. Teams of interns and artists from Nickelodeon will work together with BH's animation and vis visual arts students both during and after school to paint the entire project in just one week. Please use hashtag BHSWeCreate to share your mural pics and experiences. Attention all sophomores, the PSAT is quickly approaching. It is scheduled for Thursday, April 18th. On the day of the test, please follow these instructions. You will begin checking in at 7.30 a.m. and the test begins at 8. 
The testing will take place in the big gym if your last name is A through KN, the small gym if your last name is KO through SOG, and then the library if your last name is SOL through Z. Don't forget to bring your student ID cards. Your absences periods 1 through 4 are excused. Students are encouraged to ask your teachers for any work that they might miss. Cell phones and smart watches will be prohibited in the testing rooms. Get a good night's sleep, eat breakfast in the morning, and most importantly, relax. Good luck, sophomores. The 2019 AP exams are on sale now through April 12th. Exams cost $94 per exam. You can purchase your exams at the finance window room 1107 before school and during lunch. You must pay with cash or credit card only. See the BHS website for additional information or go to the finance window. Greetings, Earthlings and Bulldogs. I'm Mr. Glover, the drama teacher. I hope you'll come out and witness The Crucible next week in the Colony Theater. Meanwhile, I wanted to let you know about next year's drama auditions. If you're interested in the Introductory Drama One class, simply sign up with your counselor. However, if you've taken drama or have some acting chops and would like to try out for Drama Two, I'm holding auditions three weeks from now, after school, on Tuesday, April 23rd. Drama Two is a focused, in-depth acting course. It requires an audition, and that requires that you come prepared with a monologue from a published play. To sign up or get more info, simply stop by my classroom. If you don't know where my classroom is, it's over near the band and choir area. Ask a band or choir student. If you'll know a band or choir student, ask some drama students and they'll point out a band or choir kid and that kid can tell you where my classroom is. Summer school applications are available now in the Student Center or you can visit the BHS website and click on the link under the summer school to get more information about classes being offered, like credit recovery classes and initial credit classes will be available this summer. In Career Center news, CTE summer signups for our CTE summer retail marketing classes will begin on Monday, April 1st in the Career Center. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to earn five credits toward graduation. You will gain valuable work experience, learn marketing foundations, and so much more, all in just six weeks over the summer. Attention all students seeking to get service learning hours. Come volunteer on April 7th and 8th a.m. at Griffith Park to take part in the Congenital Heart Walk Los Angeles. This event includes, includes both a one-mile and three-mile family-friendly walk with a lot of fun activities. Please go to the Career Center and see Mrs. Lonnie for more information on how you can be a part of this great volunteering opportunity. The City of Burbank Parks and Recreation Department is now recruiting for their Summer Counselor and Training Program. It is a free nine-week volunteer program for high school students. It is perfect for teens who like working with kids in the Youth Day Camp programs and would also like job experience and training to enhance their resume and have fun at the same time. Teens will have daily interaction with children and staff, interactive training sessions, and get hands-on experience as well as earn volunteer service learning hours. For more information and to apply, pick up an application from the Career Center. The application deadline is April 12th. Attention all juniors and seniors. Want to learn more about the laboratory field? Interested in a paid seven-week part-time internship program with Kaiser Permanente? If yes, Kaiser Permanente is launching their summer youth employment program. To pick up an application, please go to the Career Center. Hurry in. Deadline is on April 19th. Are you interested in doing a summer internship program? Would you like to see what's available out there? Then stop by the Career Center and go through all the great summer opportunities available for high school students. Okay, Bulldogs, that's it for today's BHS TV video announcements. On behalf of the cast and crew of BHS TV, thank you for watching. And, and always, always remember, remember, it's great, great to be a Bulldog. Bulldog.